Hey guys, MC Collector here with another figure review, and next up is the Hasbro Power Rangers Lightning Collection Wave 8. This is the Lox Galaxy Red Ranger, which is the second damn release of this figure. We did get the first one in a two-pack that was a fan channel exclusive that came with the Psycho Red Ranger. Here we have the Lost Galaxy Red Ranger again, Leo. Um, but there are some differences in terms of accessories, some differences in terms of the figure. Not many, but there are some that we will discuss. But the big thing is going to be in the accessories. So this video is going to be more of a comparison. Now I never, I don't think I ever actually reviewed this two pack. I opened it up probably not long ago when I finally opened up the rest of the Lightning Collection figures that I still had in box. Um, but we'll get to all of the difference. The big one is going to be the different head sculpt, which I think the new one has a much more accurate Leo head sculpt compared to this one, but we'll get in close so you guys can see the difference between the two. So let's get right to it and open this box up. Okay, so here is the Lost Galaxy Red Ranger figure Leo out of the package and all of his accessories. So first, what we're actually going to do is take a look at the accessories. Then we're going to get in for close-ups of some of the f um, features of the figure and we'll kind of do the, the close-ups so you can kind of see the differences between the two. So first, let's go over the accessories and talk about the big thing and that is the fact that this single release does not include the Quasar Saber fully extended, whereas the two-pack version um, had it. This one does not, which I know a lot of people are not happy with that, but at least that adds the incentive that if you got the two-pack, at least you had something um, extra that made it worth it, I guess, now that they released this guy. But it is cool that we kind of get the Quasar Cannon there. So uh, let's zoom in for those accessories. Okay, so here is the Quasar Launcher, not Cannon, excuse me, I did misspeak there. Uh, the paint apps on here looks pretty good. The red um, lines there, the gold paint over this gray color. Um, they didn't use the super cheap looking gray plastic. It has a little bit of silver look to it, even though that is just the mold of the plastic. It looks good. We get some silver paint there, a little bit there, a little bit there over the red handle portion. Gold there on the end, and that all looks really good. We actually get this flame effect. I kind of would have preferred it just be all red instead of having the orange orange and yellow to make it look like a uh, flame because the way it looked in the show was just kind of like a red ball of energy shooting uh, blasting from the launcher so I would have preferred solid red uh, but that is how it looks there now you wonder like if they do the rest of the lost galaxy in the individual releases they're gonna have to include the quasar launchers right I think they have to and then if they're gonna do that they're gonna have to include the quasar sabers too right right we shall see. One cool thing about the Quasar launcher is if you pull hard enough, because they lock into place, you can actually extend the cannon, which, as you can see there, and then this side, but it's tight locked into place. You gotta really kind of break it free. Um, pretty awesome there. When I zoom out of here, I'll show you how high it stands up, you know, next to the figure. So that is pretty cool and just kind of slides right on back. And then you can kind of click it and it locks back into place. So we'll leave that off to the side there. Here is, whoops, here is the Quasar Saber that comes with Leo. And as you can see, this one is not extended out. Um, the other, the two pack one actually came with one as well. And there's a big difference between the gold colors of both of them as you can see this is much more of a darker dull color gold whereas the new one is a much brighter gold so that's how you're going to be able to tell the two of them apart from the golds we also get these interchangeable hands so out of the package leo actually has two open hands so he can hold on to like the sword uh, but here, these hands, it looks like they're specifically molded to be able to use the Quasar launcher. So we'll see how that works out later on when I set the launcher up on his shoulder. Um, and then, of course, we get the interchangeable head. So here is the Leo head sculpt, as you can see there. I think this is much better looking and a much more accurate likeness to the actor compared to the previous release. As you can see there is, you know, I think at the time this head sculpt was getting a lot of praise. Um, but now that I really look at it, I just don't think it actually looks like the actor. This new one, much better. It's not perfect, um, but I think it's a much more accurate representation. And I love the updated skin tone. Whereas a lot of the Lightning Collection figures look pretty pale in my opinion. This new Leo one looks a lot better. So I like the way that looks much better much much better 
And then one big improvement over the figure is you notice like the black lines of the suit. Um, so right in front, you don't get the white because the, it, the upper torso is a white plastic. So where that black had met, you could see the white because the paint didn't all the way come down like on this one. And I seen a lot of them were like that, if not all of them. Um, I do not have that issue on this one. So that is much better. Looking at the boots, the black lines, you get much better defined lines on the boots. None of the sloppiness that the previous one had on the back. It's all applied much better on the new one. Same goes for the gloves. The lines just look a little bit more straight. Um, and then we get a little bit of a brighter red. I don't know if you guys can really tell there. We definitely get a brighter red and then we get a, um, a larger ring of red around the collar as opposed to the thin line here. So that's a big difference. So let's pop the helmets on and you can see the difference of how they sit on the neck. Looking at the unhelmeted heads, you could already see how big of a difference that the, these heads are now sitting much, much higher on those neck pegs. So Hasbro has been listening to all the criticism and uh, feedback from earlier releases. So these newer releases, they're sitting much higher on those neck pegs. So that's awesome. Okay, so looking at the difference in neck and head placement, you can see the one on the right, which is the newer release, sits much higher on the neck, which will allow for a better movement. Now, I don't know how well it's actually coming across actually on video, uh, but having them in hand, seeing the difference in reds between the two, is it's funny that the new helmet actually looks kind of more of a duller red. Still got a nice shine to it, as all the helmets do, um, but the, it's more of a faded red color, whereas the one on the left is a brighter color, but it, it's the opposite in the suits um, that the original release has a kind of more dull red compared to the brighter red of the new release but and the helmets are opposite it, it's kind of odd and at first when I put them back on silly me didn't keep them separated so I kind of got them mixed up so I had to go through uh, pictures of the the single release just to make sure that I had the right head sculpt on there so it's just interesting um, that it would come out looking that way and again I don't know how well it comes out on video maybe right there you can kind of see it some more so just kind of interesting so let's zoom out so we can see uh, the two side by side and you can kind of see what what are some of the major differences uh, between the two and there's really not a lot the gold on the belt buckle there is actually going to be similar to with the different accessories um, we get the brighter gold versus the duller gold and that's really it I had touched upon you know the the paint apps and things on like the black lines the boots and the gloves and things like that um, so you could see but not a whole lot else going on with the figure itself. The helmet is the exact same. If anything though, the yellow is a little bit brighter on the new one, whereas it's definitely filled in more, whereas this one, it kind of looked a little choppy in some spots. Um, but other than that, pretty same um, across the board. So now let's actually go over the articulation. Okay, so Leo's articulation. So with the head, he can look down that much. He can look up that much. You get a tiny bit of pivot going on in there. And then of course you get the full rotation. You can get the arms to go up that high and up, which is great. You can get a full rotation in there. Of course, there is the butterfly joint so you can get the arm to go back that far. Coming forward, you get it to go a little bit to be able to cross body, so that is cool. You got the upper bicep swivel there. You get a solid double jointed elbow, like so, did I say el double jointed elbow, upper bicep swivel. Um, the hands and the wrists hinge like so, you get a swivel. Um, this extra hand right here that's meant for holding the launcher, that actually has the vertical hinge, whereas all the other hands actually have the standard horizontal hinge that we get. We have the upper diaphragm joint, so Leo can tilt to his left that much, he can tilt to his right that much, he can go back slightly, he can come forward slightly, but then we get the ab crunch in there, so going using both, you can get him to go back that far. Going forward, you can get him to go forward, that much which is pretty good but you can kind of see um, how the sculpt looks on the back which is a little bit funky so be aware of that you get this twist rotation at the diaphragm joint there is no waist swivel his legs can go out that far apart he can kick forward only that much but it's kind of funky I guess I never really noticed that it seems like a little bit less than we would get with most strangers um, upper thigh swivel there you get a double jointed knee like so boot swivel at the top of the boot Foot hinges all the way down like so. Hinges up slightly, ankle pivot, peg holes at the bottom of the feet. So standard articulation for the Power Rangers Lightning Collection, even though his leg doesn't seem to kick up that high, but let's see how he looks with the launcher. 
Okay, so here is Leo holding the launcher, which is pretty good. The hand works out quite well. You just kind of have to move the fingers out so we can really kind of grip that handle there. This other hand you can kind of extend so we can provide the support underneath uh, the launcher like so, which is pretty cool. Now, one thing that I don't remember in Lost Galaxy is one that I watched. I may not have paid 100% attention as, all, as I was kind of binge watching it and going through it and watching with my son. I don't recall, and I just watched a clip on YouTube of this, I don't recall the launchers actually being extended out um, in the show. And then maybe that's something that I'm missing or maybe it happens in a particular episode. Um, I know that the launchers also have the Orion armor when they do the Lights of Orion armor special ranger suits. I wonder if Lightning Collection would ever actually do those kinds of things. Maybe way later down in the line, who knows. Um, but I just, I, I'm kind of confused as to why the, the launcher actually extends. If you guys let me know, if you guys know, let me know down in the comments below. Give me the heads up as to what's going on there. Uh, but in the clips that I saw, I didn't see that. And from what I remember, I didn't see any of that. So um, there's something that I'm clearly missing there. Uh, but I think it looks kind of wonky when it's super extended out. So I think when you actually have it pushed together like that, um, it actually looks really good and becomes much easier for somebody to use um, when getting into like a launching position type of deal. So if you have Leo getting ready to launch, you know, I know some of the Rangers do it uh, from d while down on a knee. I think Leo actually stood when he used the launcher, but you could do stuff like this which is pretty cool i actually really like the way some of that looks and it's probably going to end up being the thumbnail uh something like that so that is a definitely a really nice touch okay so not a whole lot of figures for power rangers lost galaxy yet we have leo twice over psycho rangers kind of works for lost galaxy i mean the pink psycho ranger really does some damage going on um but the psycho rangers originated in power rangers um in space uh, but they kind of work. That's why, obviously, you know, the the Red Ranger came in the two-pack with the Psycho Red Ranger. Uh, but Hasbro did release the Magna Defender. The Blue Ranger is going to be released in the next wave, Wave 9. Unless I'm getting my waves mixed up, but I believe that's going to be Wave 9. So we'll have the Blue um, Lost Galaxy Ranger. So they're, you know, power, Hasbro's getting there. It's getting there with their teams. You know, they still need to finish some teams like Yellow, um, Beast Morphers, uh, the Yellow Ranger. Uh, but they're moving right along, and I'm happy that there's been a lot of focus on In Space because, like, um, Carlos is going to be coming. Um, so In Space is really, really coming along, which is awesome. So I'd really like to see Lost Galaxy um, really get that team uh, finished up pretty quickly. At least I'm hoping. You guys let me know in the comments below what you think of this Red Ranger figure. Is this Leo head sculpt the much-needed improvement over this one? You guys let me know in the comments below which one do you like more, the original or the new one? Um, what do you think of this figure? Is it one that you're passing on because you got that two-pack? Or is the Quasar Launcher um, enough to sway you to pick this one up? I'm curious. Let me know in the comments below. If you guys like this video, please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And as always, thank you for watching.